Okay. <laughs> okay. That's true. <laughs> all right, I'm down. I like that idea. All right, PL should win for all of our sakes. Uh, Tinker, <laughs> continue to lose. That would be very sad otherwise. Uh, but yeah, getting into it. Game number two. Will we get 1-1 one, one, or is it one day? Mean, an easy for OG. We'll find out. Well, well, indeed. This one. And a big part of this match is going to be on the mid laners. Not just because I like to highlight Laurel really needs to step up on this team, but yellow that he did yellow 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 leaves a lot of questions for me. The Zeus, which I thought the Zeus, once the Tinker came out, would have been great for Spirit as well. And it's stable. Viper is a very unstable pick. You're really going in for the laning stage. One or two inch ganks, and you die a couple times. You got no game anymore. You don't really have a purpose. So this pick is truly just to meant to slow down BZM in the laning stage. And he's got to execute that. And it's not going to be the easiest task either. So all eyes on Laurel for me. Well, there's a lot of eyes down bottom for Yuragi who ping, ping, ping. I think he caught sight of him briefly. So right. they won't. My Slark has night vision, right? So it's going to be hard to get that guy. They have the blood grenade. Get him. Oh my god, are they all going to get killed now? Dude, CM doesn't know what's coming. They dropped the spray down, the okay. Now ready to run at her, Aposhka. Go for it. No, doesn't look like it. They don't want to chase. They're worried that there's a bunch of heroes there. They don't know that there's only a couple. Right. The battle begins. Might be some battle for rune here. She's ready. Whoa! Two heroes stunned, and then the blood grenade on the both. Team Spirit getting ran at. They're going through the firestorm, but Mira is going to live. Question. Taiga might die here. Blood grenade. Oh my god, they get to kill a Taiga. First blood goes to collapse. They do take down Maposhka after, but a huge win. Collapse. Oh, Has a blood track. grenade. Can you get in a click? One click, that's all he needs. Oh, there he got it. Oh, now turning on to MC, but the Burrow Strike is there. Mira nearby, MC has to back out. That's crazy. Yeah, this- What a start. Dude, that's his- He has a ring of health. health. Yeah, he's got a ring of health now. What in the- Oh, man. <laughs> that's crazy. And Mind Control has to just kill himself to a tower because yeah, he's going to miss the first wave top. He's going to miss the first two waves on the top lane. Absolute okay. disaster for OG. What a start. I mean, uh, that's that's everything. You you start your lane against an Underlord as a Slark and he has a ring of health. And then you look at MC and he has nothing. He had to use his blood grenade even. Yadaro's getting a free start to this game. Pretty much the difference in net worth, looking at the two, is MC has 90 gold items as the Underlord, but Underlord has a free ring of health in his inventory. Wow. That's that's big. Okay. And Taiga, Blood Grenade, has been tossed out. Another Lance here. Oh. We're trying to bring him down. Yadaro chasing. Taiga is going to be killed. So Yadaro getting a pick off there and MC trying to force Maposhka back. Yeah, needs to be careful. Maposhka, that clarity pop. Yadro's right on top of him. Okay, won't be able to do it. Yara dies to Yaraki down bottom while this chase continues. No. So six kills in two minutes, three kills a minute seems good. Maposhka maybe going to die now also, or maybe going to kill Taiga. Oh no, Taiga, not like this. Oh, the burrow strike to try and keep his buddy alive. MC barely able to keep that Phoenix living. And now MC, they chase in. Maposhka is going to get one right click off. And Taiga now hiding off in the trees. Yadro's trying to chase. He has stick charges, has Spirit Lance. But Maposhka's going to die. They didn't decide to pop it for the Spirit Lance. Taiga gets away. So it's Maposhka that's dead. What is with these teams that just, I don't know. It's like flooded here. They just want to battle to the death. Well, 
There might be another death. A pop with the body block that coming in. Sandstorm and Yadaro in trouble. He dies to MC. You know what it is? Like, in, I think Team Spirit, they're this team that does like to go late game sometimes, but they play in Eastern Europe. And so many of the teams there just like fight like crazy. So they never back down. And OG's a fighty team too. Yeah. For sure. And I think more than anything, what Team Spirit was trying to do is really exploit. I feel like deep in their bones, they feel like they should crush this lane because MC missed the first two waves and they're playing in that way. But maybe a little too overconfident here. That death on Yatoro kind of equalized this lane in a lot of ways as MC now has a ring of health. Still not an easy lane but it was salvaged. It was salvaged. Right. And if we have a moment to take a breath at some point, I did want to check the mid lane. Yeah, talk to me about it. What, do, what are you seeing here? I, I haven't checked it. 10 to seven versus 13 and 10. Viper's doing well. He's not crushing, but I think he's doing good enough right now. If they can somehow deny the runes, actually, he might get a kill here. No, only three stacks. There won't be enough there. I guess this is a lane that it probably gets worse the more levels that Viper gets as as well. Yeah, it's definitely going to be more and more Viper favored. But Radiance the one thing that you have going for you as a tinker is the laser miss chance will make it so most likely he won't die in the laning stage here. Okay. But I feel like unless um, Inch makes rotation, you're not killing this Viper either. Well, it is a four minute gotcha. Vanguard finish for collapse down bottom. So while uh, Viper not likely to be able to get that kill onto BZM that effectively, uh, the side lanes are very much uh, doing well uh, at this point for Team Spirit. Um, although, like you talked about, MC having gotten that ring of health, he's almost at Vanguard too. Things are starting to feel a little bit better. I think he's just happy at this point. Somehow, he is now a higher level than Yatoro with all the craziness that has happened into this top lane here. Getting really close to his Vanguard though, and once he hits Vanguard, he's invulnerable. And unfortunately, this patch, Vanguard is still that one of those items where if you finish it as an off laner, nobody can touch you. At least for the most part, the supports can't touch you. DM hits the scan, realizes Mira's in the area. Miram rotates in and won't be able to connect there. Kit Track makes the move. He has a Seder Banisher with him. So ready to go for some purge action if they need to. Oh, also the dive Laurel? comes from Laurel. A lot of rotations mid and Taiga makes the full commitment to go under the tower, take down that Viper. Big move from the Phoenix. Yeah, that's quite good here. Tinker Universal Hero now? Or what? Uh, I was just wondering, GZ and this is a soul ring play, but actually they're going to catch him with just a support. That and was a going to go down. Thing. Wow. Your face. Oh, oh man, is that is a nice little chunk of levels for them. Yeah, great presence of mind by Mposhka just to TP and help his other support kill the mid laner. I don't think BZM expected that one with Laro still respawning. Interesting. Uh, and now getting closer to the, the six minute runes, uh, they came up. It's a DD for Laurel. Seven minutes. Top lane, Yatoro might be in trouble. And they do find him, okay. Dyer's top top so MC attack. gets that kill. Vanguard just, Sand King, what can you do? Radiance middle Look at this, they're, they're just diving BZM. The poor guy's level five. I mean, this is Tinker Dine, so I feel good about this. So, uh, <laughs> you see oh, we got everything we wanted here. Tinker and Peel both died. It's a win for everyone. Everybody's having a good time. Seven minutes, though. Who's getting those XP runes? Oh, Kidrax making a great play here. Look what Kidrax doing. He's dragging the mid wave. Okay. You're on, you're on Radiant, my friend. You're not on Dire, but he stopped the catapult push in the mid lane with his Tinker dying there. Radiant and now there's going to be a triple wave top coming top. in to beat him. Maybe you want to yeah, they... loop back here and help him out a little Dyer's bit. Top top right. Looks like the supports top. are just leaving on Tinker. Radiant's here. This is the thing. Like, killed. lanes don't exist anymore. After like four minutes, they're just gone and doing like a bunch of random stuff. Uh, yeah. MC, and, and nobody's going for the bounty runes. Yuragi actually is going to run to try and steal the XP rune. As MC still trying to survive there, Burrow Strike comes through. On the mirror, down low, pop stick damage out. Is it going to be enough? Oh my so god. It is. And with the caustic, Yaro took so much damage. Collapse shows up, rotates in from bottom, takes down Taiga. 
And then Yoragi is TPing mid. He might run after Laurel here. This is a level 6 start. He got level 6 off of that rune. And now Pops ulti kills the Viper. What a play. Look at this. The, the laning's done. It's just over. BZM's bottom now. I really like this choice. Because Yoragi can lane against the Viper. He, he can spam out in the dark. <laughs> Look at this. All three cores are coming bottom to kill Collapse. And then Tag is there too. Collapse is like, guys, leave me alone, please. Mira shows up, wants to keep him and his Collapse Underlord alive. Running across the bridge. Got one more spirit. Got hit. He hit it. And burn down. It's enough. Taiga, because he's already level five, even without getting that xp rune those kills mid end up mattering he is gonna get ran down there but they managed to find the underlord finish middle there's still an xp rune attack. up on the the, the left side by the way you're all getting chasing Yoragi. down the portal he just wants to punish this guy gets him with the root now kitrak shows up pops the see the multi Yoragi, if they can get this kill on him it would be so enormous they try and finish him off but he barely survives. Collapse now shows up, spots him there, he heads up for high ground, tries to dark pack, pounce away, gets out of trouble. Dyer's uh, middle tower is under what's attack. What's happening? I don't think the human brain is fast enough to keep up with that's everything true. that's going on in these games. So I guarantee you, not even the players can keep up with the speed of the game. They're just playing and making their own decisions for themselves. I think they're having a lot this of fun. This will come in handy. This does uh, look like fair. a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, yeah. And MC. Yep. There's a dust. Yeah. Yeah, my friend. I don't know. Dyer's top right. top is top. Now. He has level six. Dyer's egg top. down. Top. MC living. They go through the gate. They want to get away. Yeah. Can he make it? Oh. Can he get through the gate in time? That was like 0.1 and seconds. Yeah. He's gonna die to the Tippy Taiga. Dude, these teams, I don't know what is happening. Look at your Rocky, he's chasing Yotaro again. Through the jungle he goes, trying to find Radiance this kill on the PL. Not attack. willing to dive under the tier two tower though. See, now, this is just around. silly. That's fair. Yeah, they need to. Uh, what's happening? Dude, amongst all this chaos and all this destruction, the game is still even, somehow. Yeah. Somehow all of this has equaled out to an even game. Well, it's weird though, because like, so BCM super broke. Uh, this Tinker has been handled and he's actually right now smoking and doing Ancients with laser. And it's Taiga that's instead the one that's picked up a lot of that farm. And he's under almost on par right now with the Tinker. He does get pulled back in by Mira, but the dive away and it'll keep him alive. Um, but yeah, BZM, he's he's trying nice. to catch back up farming while Yoragi keeps on running right into Yadaro and putting the pressure on. And I will say Taiga playing a hero that benefits from network really well yeah. and i think his Radiant's hero bottom tower is, is under attack almost of equal importance as far as like what they both do for this game as the tinker so if they split net worth that's not necessarily a bad Radiant's thing because they're both good at killing illusions mm. neither of these teams have a good egg killer viper is going boost to travel so he has no attack speed. Is under they're gonna attack. have a hard time dealing with taiga's damage if he's Radiant's survivable enough. Tower is I mean, under attack. It, right before yoragi got that xp up top Taiga was tied for the highest level in the game, and he still is right up there at the top right now. Um, and this is a hero that does insane amounts of damage uh, with that farm. Now they are going to connect on this leash and get a pop the gate, try and make it through. In the gate on the gate. He managed to escape. He does. He so used his gate next to the other gate. <laughs> he couldn't get through the other one. He didn't have enough time. He tried to. Mira. They find both of these attack. heroes, and Maposhka pops OG, Taiga going to pop the egg. Sound Which one's attack. stronger? I think the Supernova. Maposhka has to back out. Oh, so, hey, Tinker hey. now has... Oh, he's flinging on top of him. Yeah, he yeah. he really wants Laurel. Uh, not going to happen. God, I love that he can't blink once he's taking damage. So nice. But he didn't just pick up that blink dagger. Now we're feeling it. Rotation comes to the bottom lane with Mira. Boots of travel are available for Lala. He wants to make rotation here. 
see what happens, but I'm toppling. That's Aura. Find him. Down low. And... Oh, he's got a mana! Oh my god. But missiles. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Level four on those missiles. It gets enough for the kill. Radiant structures. Oh, is taking this tower. You really want to do this, Oh my god. Oh, yep, no. That's not what they wanted. Now it seems to pop. Epicenter didn't have enough damage. Yaki shows up after Epicenter, which was stolen by the Rubik. Now Tiger shows up. He doesn't have mana for egg. He didn't even have egg available. OG Such just throwing man. bodies Radiant's into the meat grinder. Under attack. That TP from BZM was so ambitious. TP right into the middle of them. Gets caught out. Dies out. I think OG thought that fight would go a lot differently, and it could have if they didn't kill Radiant's the Tinker right away, or Tinker attack. didn't die right away, rather. So, really good fight there for Spirit. Now taking the gold lead. All it takes is one decisive fight right. to get the net worth advantage. But I noticed in this patch either, you don't build the very big gold leads. Normally it sits no. around 6, 7k. That's kind of been the trend, unless you're like relentlessly feeding. So they're mm -hmm. gonna start for now. There's a lot of map to farm, probably why you can't get these big gold leads Dyer's early on. Tower is under attack. And it's anyone's game, for sure. So let's just have to see how these fights go. Well, they have to attack here again. They find a collapse right at the start. Ochka popping ulti on the other side. Mira is there. What can they do? Taiga has that dive. There's the egg on the side. Skim ulti still doing so much. After is down they have to back away bzm trying to play a little bit of cleanup there has to tp away immediately can they get the lift in time not quite so they don't manage oh we didn't have it on cooldown yet taiga dives out tries to escape team spirit running with a lot of energy now taiga tries to back away oh, sunray is not going to keep them alive here as they chase and they found tinker enough tinker too is going to fall team spirit they are getting everything that they need right now and collapse runs through the gate to try and keep oh, yeah. away push but now he's in trouble he might just go down too mc respawn runs and collapse kills him was under attack gave the free kill to him as he went through the gate this is how dota is supposed to be played you might not like it but this is peak performance <laughs> they find laurel break his cp all I can think about right now is like, why did they pick Tinker? <laughs> like this change to the blink dagger makes this hero look unplayable. Oh yeah. It Dyer's literally is unplayable. Is under attack. Tinker was Dyer's good because you can keep spamming your blinks, completed. but now that they changed it, so it mutes the item for three seconds, which means if you refresh it, that doesn't do anything. It's still True. muted. So he gets clipped Dyer's by one little spell. Normally he would have blinked out and got six Seven more rounds of spells off there. He doesn't get any off. He's bootless. Dyer's Do you just have to buy boots on Tinker now? Is that what it comes to? Do you need phase boots on Tinkers? So you can reposition to rearm? This hero yeah, looks or... real bad right now. I mean, bad or like... Oh, no. oh god, I can't even talk for a second. They just run right in. They can't quite blow him up. And yeah, that, that right there, you see, like he didn't go for another round of it. Too afraid that like something could go wrong. Gotcha. I don't even know. Uh, Rocky tries to run away. Mira, the lift a little bit uh, off the, the mark in terms of trying to catch him with that dark pack. But there is great vision over here, actually. Rocky's still being chased by this creep as a pop tag at the end of the glass. And they set up on him. I mean, he's going to know that there's vision here now, but won't matter. win rate is. I feel like I see him lose a lot, but it's only one and two with it right now, so it's been winning some games, but this patch, I'm not entirely sure. Probably, this might be his first. All right. Um, so we're averaging about two kills a minute. Uh, 15 to 19 at 17 minutes. Want to add another one to that list? I think we're about to. <laughs> okay, he goes in. <laughs> and then Burrow Strike stolen. Giving up Burrow Strike kind of hurts. Uh, that's a good spell for Mira. Mira's having a hell of a game. He's 5 and 4, but on a mega kill streak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's kind of fun, actually. He literally was 0 and 4, I guess, and then 1 to 5 and 4. 
the guy. Taika is building all these big team items. He's almost got a pipe. That is, that feels like a really big pickup. Already has the mech done. Similar, I guess that Underlord has Middle one now. Uh, has that's probably why a lot of their fights have been going so good recently. And then picking up the song. She disassembled the Vanguard and went into it after. Yeah. Oh. And Collapse is going to go Bloodstone eventually. So disassembling Arcanes and then having that VIP booster. That's a build that I think we've been seeing more often recently. On the Underlord? Well, on, on just like these big tanky offlaners with like magic damage, they go Bloodstone to try and sustain their mana pool and like survive through fights. All right. Radiant's bottom tower is it'll... under attack. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I think it's just like everybody's still building Vanguard, Frank, uh, Arcanes. Um, Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. They made they it cheaper, have... and like you can uh, get perseverance into Radiance it. Bottom yeah, tower is that right? Is no, under no, attack. no, 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 not perseverance. That truck yeah, it's just the soul booster. We'll see how it means to hang out for them. I know they changed it so the one of them's passive now. I don't know what's that. Was that the Eternal Shroud? Yes. Yeah, it's an active. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bloodstone no longer has the Aether Lens build up into it. That's another yeah. big switch up that they have. Yeah, Eternal. That was Octarine Core. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. No. I'm getting it all busted up in my head. <laughs> I don't know. I'm seeing control. Cool. I control F Bloodstone in the patch and there's nothing. Oh, okay. I, they changed off. Oh my god. Hiragi. 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 Is he gonna get solo here by this? Gets away for the moment. Finding him there. Ambitious. The lift, the lift. It's not gonna happen. Dude. Oh, oh, god on this. He He's put back oh. towards mid. Laurel goes down too we had enough time for a little intermission to talk about bloodstone and then that was enough time for two kills more to happen that was the <laughs> longest pause we had in a while now he just finishes agnum scepter now Ooh. Which okay. is an item that can be dispelled oh, BPM. why i never like it but it does give you double magic uh, oh scary radiance bottom tower is under attack Dyer are scanning. Get out with Era 2. Uh, but you don't, you said you do like it or don't like it? Sorry. I don't like the act of it. I think the passives it gives you are pretty nice. Yeah. It's just the disarm is cool. <laughs> but it can be dispelled by Dark Pack. TV, and everything. BCM gets caught. Dude, this is just life of Tinker nowadays. You just can't get caught as a Tinker anymore. Yeah. Tinker is now a hero where if you get. Someone sneezes in your direction and die. Bottom tower is under Whereas attack. before, you could just like outplay people, defuse the mechanic of blinking around even while taking damage. Structures it's hard. Right? I, don't, I think BCM with so Radiant's many Tinker games is not is used attack. to this change. Right. No, it's a possibility. Yeah. Any like a, a random. I saw like a Viper illusion hit him and it broke his passive. Yeah. Or yes. broke his blink dagger. Super annoying to deal with. Well, the course of skin is just gonna fly, right? Right. He's gonna die. Is under MC attack. still in the area. He's trying to build into an Aghanim Scepter of his own. Radiance on the bottom Sand tower King. Has fallen. Um, but starting to look Radiance more and more like we might end up with a 1 attack. 1 series here. Are you feeling like uh, Team Spirit are starting to create that separation and really pull ahead of it? Trying to curse them right now or what? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> I'm starting to see right now, actually, as we get a gate going into the top lane, I'm starting to see more and more of why this Viper was better than I thought it would be. Because I forgot that the Blink Dagger muted now, and it didn't just, like, go on cooldown. Mm. So the fact that if you're, if you just run in there with Viper, and if Tinker ever casts a spell, you can't blink forever. You just literally can't blink forever while casting spells here, which will make them really easy to run down and kill, so... This matchup's a lot better than it used to be, which I guess a lot of matchups were Tinker and out a lot better than they used to be. Right. Either or. Either way, sorry. It's definitely huge. We're going to do a Tormentor here. But is, it, is Spirit controlling this game? Absolutely. I feel like it's a very difficult game right now. Okay. They got to find some type of... Laurel 
being brought very, very low. And Yadro trying to finish it off himself. Shard in towards mid. The battle's breaking out. Egg on one side. The first go Laurel. Yadro all try and take it out. And they'll be able to. So a nice combination coming from Spirit in time to defend the mid lane. Yeah, great play there by Spirit. OG, Dyer's you saw like tower is under attack. the need for them to want to do something. Yeah. And I think the reason we're not seeing a lot of teams make comebacks in this patch right now is because they don't know what to do. I don't even necessarily know what to do either, right? The, it's such a new patch. The map is so big. If you look at the old patch and how they came back into games, you had thousands, literally thousands of hours of watching tape, figuring out how to play the map in a losing position. They don't have that. Oh, You've got to play the map so much differently. They also don't have Tinker anymore. Uh, oh, I can't nothing new there. Yes. Every time he shows on the map, this like Underlord gate train of a Fiend's Gate also comes in. Yeah, it's it's pretty devastating. Uh, this is this is despair mode for BZM. <laughs> yeah. Why did I choose to play this hero? This might be the last game Radiant's he plays this hero for a while. Yeah. It's official. You heard it here first. Tinker is dead. Yeah. This hero is so bad now. Or at the very least, it's gonna need to like be banned Viper every Dyer's single time you play against it. Under attack. God, like even missiles randomly Radiant's thrown out there, it, it just attack. destroys it. Um, your own spells work against you. There's probably lots of things that are gonna counter Tinker that you didn't think of before. Yeah. I was thinking about the other day, I was like playing Nyx and I was playing versus Medusa. And it's like, Nyx doesn't really counter Medusa anymore because you don't literally ban, you don't burn mana anymore. So yeah. some, some of these matchups that you thought you knew, you thought were good before, they can just completely change with a couple of reworks here and there. And I think Tinker's definitely one of those heroes with this not being able to blink around the way you used to. A lot of matchups just got a lot worse for him. Fair enough. BZM. You can still hit creeps very well, that's for dang sure. As it looks like they're gonna attempt to take this fight. Laurel jumps in. BZM is in a great position, very far away from everybody else. I guess it pulls out that sun ring, keeping your rocket alive, and that supernova in a really weird position. Oh, Thrust Ring goes for the save! Oh, it was so close. MC almost made the ultimate save. But the Burrow Strike Steel breaks his TP, and that is three dead. Oh, man. Oh, that was close. Yeah. I think another reason why Peel got a lot stronger, you know how I was talking to you the other day and how I think my first impressions of the patch were Saint and Yasha it's busted? Because every single yeah. stun in the game has been reduced in duration. Add status resistance on top of that. Now your stuns just tickle, and Peel is a hero that has never ever Radiant's wanted to buy a BKB. Right. So you can go straight into this S and Y with the BKB nurse, and you can feel really strong. No, I, I, absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm also I'm I, 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 I'm kind of thinking about not just the status resistance with that, but like in this game in particular, Radiant's the Shiva's guard normally a great item sort of uh, have for uh, reducing that attack speed. It doesn't care about sass resistance, obviously, if you just got that aura Radiant's going around. Top tower um, is under attack. Taiga had it queued up and he was going to build it, but then saw that Tinker had it and Tinker Dive using this scary. a lot to farm creeps. Right? He can't be standing <laughs> out there. So they're not getting the Sheba's aura on any of these heroes. That might've made the difference for that egg. How do you play Tinker now? Because, like, Drank does Dyer's this. So, yeah, you just blink in, rearm, blink out. <laughs> that. I guess you still kind of have to do it, but he needs a BKP more than ever right now. So yeah. he can actually get it into these fights. They don't have an answer for BKB at the moment. Radiant's as Yatoro top tower is under attack. Which straight Bloodborne, by the way. Just reason why Bloodborne. Normally you see the heart. This is like the super aggressive route, right? As opposed to having any defenses. He feels 15k ahead. Like PL, damage has output has been minimal at <laughs> best for OG, so... Look at the map right now. <laughs> <Dyer's> <laughs> not 
Hochi's door. Everybody is gone. They're all farming the other we side of the map. Like, we don't want to be in our base. We don't want to deal with this. Leave us alone. Uh, but they have creeps. They got to deal with this creep wave eventually. And they are going to try and kill that one. That means backdoor protection should be back up again uh, top in top just a moment top. here because they don't have another Radiance creep wave. Top barracks are so under yeah, they have buybacks on Slark and... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I think if you're gonna win fights as OG, you be base defense with buybacks, right? Radiant are scanning. Yeah, that, that feels like it's what it has to be. But and and at least there, there's gonna be a place where like you know Tinker can kind of stand strong. Oh no! Oh god! All right, he's doing the rearm blink out. Just don't attack when it's happening. That's the key. Yeah. He uses a nice little trick of you can literally use Shiva's guard while teleporting. Yeah. A little mechanic. Same with armor as well. Very cool. Couple other items. Uh, well, the Underlord Bloodstone is done. So a bunch of health, bunch of mana, spell, life, steal. And then if you were running low on mana, you can pop it. Go back up your mana. Yeah, the last change of Bloodstone was in 30 Duration went from six to five. Other than that, unchanged. Nose dive onto the Phoenix. Uh, will not pop egg for that, obviously. So they kill off Kaiga. And now looking for another tier two tower to take. Spirit. Radiant's they have gone one one in all attack. of their series so far. This would be the first loss for OG attack. if Spirit can close this game out a 15k gold lead and OG they're just trying to dodge as much as, as much as possible get into a couple of these BKBs how much does that change things when you have a BKB on Slark and a BKB on uh Radiance on Middle Tower is under attack I think Tinker will Dyer's now be able to play this hero a bit more attack. which is it, it's, it's huge for Tinker for sure absolutely massive Radiance so he Bottom needs to get this as soon as possible attack. and I think OG realized they can't fight until they have this BKB onto them and he'll be able to do a lot of work with it for sure he just needs to be yeah. able to get into the fights and do the damage. And he has to do a lot of damage this game. We have an Agnum Scepter as well on the Sand King. I don't know if a lot of the people out there have been able to see the new change to this one. No longer makes it so you have a long burrow strike, but while you're sandstormed, it sends out random burrow strikes in every direction. It is incredibly powerful, especially when you're playing against a PL. It is sort of that kind of RNG element to it, it is, that exists yes. uh, with like Exactly. Tries exactly. to get away. Has another Got a BKB. Gonna pop it now, hit a couple of times, and then TP out of there. <laughs> he slapped Mira once and then TP off. Like, see that? Give me that agility. I did have to pop his BKB for that. It's pretty annoying. BZM farms up and is going to have his BKB completed. Okay, they are online right now. Yeah, and they're TPing on to MC. There's no BKB on this Viper. Can they set up for it? But the portal, they're all coming. King Spirit Sword. Yeah. You know, if MC does just pop Sandstorm, though, in a string of illusions for, uh, yeah, it would be that bad. No, it's huge. I think he might need a BKB as well to really make this really work so he doesn't die until the second storm. But they have answers to heal. This wasn't early to heal, so I, it wasn't super early this game. It was early enough to like, there's countless on this game. You can deal with this heal. down to the low ground. Maybe a chance here for Spirit to make some magic happen, although I think they're spamming out a couple of spells, willing to play far forward. Mira misses on the epicenter. BZM playing around his timing quite well. Able to get the blink back and away. Still, they take a good chunk of magic damage. MC still waiting for an opportunity. Burrow strikes the low ground, runs into a creep wave, and... Right on top of them. TP out. They have a way to break it. Yeah, it's called damage. Yeah, yeah that's just the way. <laughs> oh, no. no need to 
break it when you can kill him in less than three seconds with the blood thorn available there. So what is this? Dyer's He'll have shard to What the hell attack. does this do now? That's an active ability juxtaposed. Render transfer lights are invisible for eight yeah. seconds. Oh, like the old one. Block. Yeah. Duplicate image can fuse enemies. The movement speed is increased by 15. That's cool. That is the old. It used to be the old doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> that was, uh... Oh, the I think the, walk, right? the, yeah. the patch that handy. I uh, started playing Dota, it was Radiance when that one was tower is under attack. <laughs> <laughs> it was when PL had got doppelganger. Uh, the first patch that I started playing Dota. I was playing a lot of Dota back when the doppel walk was available. I was playing a lot of PL back then too. <laughs> BZM trying to spam out what he can with the Shiva's guard and everything else. They do have a backup again now. Already Taiga. That's OG chance if they can get an opening. Strike in. Now looking for those connections. Does get a couple of them with egg at the ready. Do they want to go in? It's just Sunray down. Finding on the back line. Oh, God. He's trying to dive, but now they don't have any pro strikes to save the egg. MC was off to the side. Couldn't get there in time. And now, popping the epicenter turn on the mirror at Laurel Road. Not taking that much damage in his back. Tinker's gonna Why? die too. Kurt kills him off. And Team Spirit, they're still sitting comfy. Cool as a cucumber. Hitting buildings, Radiant's taking towers. Are under the end of this game. Oh, MC gets found, but the glimmer keeps him alive. And then the back away takes a PL illusion of their own. Radiant structures are fortified. What the hell is that? I OP because of the Ags, but none of these peels are even getting the Ags, and it doesn't seem like it even matters. <laughs> That's fair. It's kind of like it's just the cherry on top, you know? It's like, oh, at least I'd be, I'd be useful Ags now at some point in the game. And Yatoro is going to sit here in front of everyone. What can you do to this? Got an Aegis. He's got 3.6k HP with status and resistance. Good luck. Good luck, indeed. Man, uh, yeah, this this game very much uh, running into some issues for OG as it gets later and later, um, which is not what I was anticipating happening. I thought that their lineup was going to become that much stronger. But Tinker, I mean, uh, what can you do at great. this point in the game? Yeah, like you have this 1.8 second stun on, on Bro Strike. That's reduced by 30 or 20 percent now. 30 used to be a full distinction on that one. 20 percent reduced on that one as attack. well. So you're stunning for like one and a half seconds on this guy. That's not gonna be enough to burst him. And that's your only stun. Well. well, they Radiant's can try again here. They have Sand attack. King KB done. Burrow struck. Yeah, if you hit the burrow, that was uh watch if you're get stunned here. Surely one of these will hit him. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, mini stun. Wow. <laughs> Literally a mini stun. All right, I think you're going to spam out spells. It's like so freaking tanky. Sunray now stolen. All right, they get on the back line. The Lodka tries to kill them off. CMOG going to town, doing some good things there. And the C rolls on in, finds him for the moment. That's enough for the kill, but has to burst right away from Yadro. And that is to try and keep Kit Track alive. But again, he's just tickering. It's so much damage reduced with this pipe online, with the natural magic resistance, with heart. They're chilling. Got glimmer capes as well. So, yeah, it's not easy. And you definitely have the boots of bearing on the Crystal Maiden. You have that lot of region. She ended up going down that fight, but the 15 health region. They're just tickling him at this point. If they want to kill anyone, it has to be a hard commitment to bursting. But you don't have the lockdown for it. No. That's the issue here. You just have this one sanking stone. And then you pray to the RNG lords that Sandstorm can chain stone <laughs> with the Aghanims, but that has not really been working out. Yeah, it, it, it's been a little bit tough. That's for sure. Um, and... 
Oh, I wonder if they're thinking uh, Roche is still two minutes away before it's capable of respawning. Yeah, this uh, th this game feels very out of reach for OG. After a really uh, solid game number one, we've still had a very entertaining game number two here. 15 kills, very high octane action coming in. Um, but hear it, the path is clear for them. The Autora we trust. Just follow him around. Record him. He will win you the game. As the doppelganger juxtapose. Sorry, there's been like 5,000 different terminologies for this hero. Juxtapose right. now is online, so he can. It's like a free Shadow Blade base. This one. Yeah. Uh, Taiga is farming, almost got caught by collapse there, but doesn't quite connect. There is a free Tormentor on the, uh, Dire side of the map. They also have one on Radiant, but everybody on Dire already has their Agnum Shard. The Tormentor value past the first... Honestly, past the first one goes down drastically. <laughs> yeah. At this point in time, you don't want to go back to your side of the map just to kill a Tormentor. There's no way. And the Tormentor is designed in a way to show them plays. They do keep him alive for a moment. You're on the top. Yeah, so you keep on a BKB. You can yeah. use it. Yeah, it's, that's, that, that's pretty rough. Yuragi out of mana. Has to jump back to get back home. But Team Spirit, they are going to get Mega Creeps. They are going to try and close this one out right now. Taiga end up getting his TP canceled and is now running back home. Trying to escape, but I think that they're going to cut him off here at the side. Moshka runs right into him. The dive is out, and the stunner is being thrown out from Rubik. They're going to take this point. The game is breaking. Is breaking. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> falling apart. Uh, as they're trying to summon some units, and well, ready to maybe go on in and end this one. Wait, Underlord on slices of pizza? Yeah, man. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Why have I not seen that before? You gotta play more Underlord. Why would I play that hero? I like this hero. He's good. Look <laughs> at him. Look at his bloodstone. How strong is that? Okay. I'm not a huge that. fan of just walking around the map as an aura bot. Wow. You know, not for everyone. How do you pump them going recently? By the Terribly. Way. <laughs> Where are you going? 21. Thousand gold leaf and time walked it all down. Jump in with Yuragi. Do not find anybody. Illusions eating at them. The real PL is even there. This is absolute despair mode at the moment. Sunray out from Taiga. They need to find a good fight if they can, but keeping the hero under control is very difficult. MC ready to jump in for a strike connect.